the remainder of 37 raised to the power 49 when divided by 7 is so find the remainder here and uh, congruence will help us to find the remainder so what is congruence if i write a mod n it means that when i divide a by n means n divides a then remainder left is the value of a mod n so you can write a mod n is r or sometimes we write b it means that if this value is subtracted from a means a minus r is completely or evenly divisible or divided by n here remainder may left or it may be zero or less than n but in this case remainder is always zero so we will apply congruence modulo here when 37 raised to the power 49 is divided by 7 or mod 7 so what is the remainder means value of b or sometimes r we need to find this value what is r if a belongs to integer then a raised to the power p is congruent to a mod p this is well known theorem fermat theorem fermat theorem so consider consider p is 7 and value of a is 37 also the condition which is must applicable here should be gcd of a and p must be 1 so their gcd is 1 gcd of 7 and 37 is 1 so we can apply fermat theorem theorem here so 37 raised to the power 49 sorry 7 is congruent to 37 mod 7 divide this one what is the remainder 7 5 is 35 so 2 mod 7 because we are seeking 37 raised to the power 49 and this one we will get when 37 raised to the power 7 is whole raised to the power 7 means a raised to the power k mod n is same as b raised to the power k mod n so multiple so raised power 7 both side 37 raised to the power 7 and whole the power 7 will congruent to 2 raised to the power 7 mod 7 this is 37 or 37 raised to the power 49 i can write mod here or there is no need if you can write you can write or not is equal to 2 raised to the power 7 mod 7 now 2 raised to the power 7 2 raised to the power 5 is 32 multiply by 4 4 2 is 8 and 4 3 is 12 128 means this is same as 128 mod 7 means divide 128 by 7 and what is the remainder left 7 1 is 7 5 58 7 it is 56 so 2 mod 7 
means 2 is remainder. Now which one option is giving the value 2? Option C is here.